The torque due to force F is the vector R cross F, where R is the vector from the pivot, O in this case, to the point where the force is applied. This vector has a magnitude, RF sine phi, where phi is the angle between the R and F vectors, and it has a direction given by the right hand rule, or RHR. We're asked to find the net torque on the rod about point O, and we'll call torques out of the screen, or counterclockwise, to be positive. There are two forces, so we'll have two torques. Let's calculate those over here. For force 1, the R vector goes from the pivot, point O, to the point where the force is applied. That vector is in this direction, so we see the angle between the R and the F vector, phi, is 90 degrees. So we get a magnitude of torque, R1, times the magnitude of F1, sine of 90 degrees, with a direction given by the right-hand rule. After putting the two vectors tail to tail, put the right-hand fingers along the R1 vector, curl them towards the force, which is down, and the right-hand thumb points into the screen, which is the negative direction. It's a clockwise or negative torque. For the torque due to force 2, we have the R2 vector shown here. And moving it tail to tail with the force, we see this is the angle phi. So the torque has a magnitude, R2 times F2, sine of the angle phi, which is 150 degrees. And the direction is given by the right hand rule. With the right hand fingers in the direction of R2, curl them towards F2, and the right hand thumb points out of the screen. That's the positive direction, so the torque is positive or counterclockwise. Now we can calculate numbers. For torque 1, we get minus 40 newton meters. For torque 2, positive 12 newton meters. And come back over here and add those numbers together. The net torque then has a magnitude of 28 newton meters and it is directed into the page providing a clockwise torque.